What's going on guys? Today we are going to be doing our first with more yet to come of our GM guides for season, what are we, 14 or 15 of Destiny? Who knows? Our Nightfall Strike or GM this week is the Devil's Lair. Our champion mods are Overload and Barrier. For this reason, um... I am running a bow, my teammates have Arbalist and a bow of their choice on. They also have Aeons and are running Stasis Warlock. Stasis Warlock is super good for controlling adds and Aeons every time they finish a champion or some kind of like high level enemy, they will generate heavy ammo. So bows for overload, Arbalist for any shield in the game and barrier, and then Stasis is good for controlling adds. I have a bone myself, Wither Horde for killing adds. Uh, we're all using linear fusions mainly for DPS, or Miz has a rocket on. Basically, any good um, damage for your heavy weapon, but I recommend linear fusion rifles because particle deconstruction is super strong. And then I have well for just general ad clear, killing adds, health, whatever. And yeah. My mods are shield break charge, so when I break an arc shield with my bow, I'll get charged with light. Uh, taking charge for when I pick up moats, which helps with... Oh my gosh, I don't have it on. The most important mod in the game, protective light. So both of those help me get protective light, and then that helps with that. And then kindling flame I just have on because I have space, but not super important. Main important thing is that you have protective light on. So, you take extremely reduced damage when you get to one shot. So, without further ado, let's launch the Nightfall Strike and show you how to get it done. Fallen will continue to claw at the walls of our city unless we strike them down. Beneath the ruins of a cosmic room, in the shadow of an old colony ship, we've located the House of Devil's Lair and the High Civil, feeding it its strength. We must destroy this machine car and send their souls screaming back to hell. So in this beginning part, what my team likes to do, you could kill all the adds in the beginning here, which is time consuming but safe, but we like to just hop on our sparrows and just YOLO the frick through here. Try to dodge some bullets. If someone dies, you can pick them up. I just got one shot there. But we just sparrow all the way here, and then you want to kill this overload champion. He's the only champ in this section. And of course, we're going to be going for platinum rewards. But we kill him. And then keep moving through the strike. Soon, so that makes this bow crispy. Shoot some Wither Horde to help with the thralls running at us. See the stasis there going into work. They pop the shield with RB, and then that lets us just mow him down with the linear fusions because it also stacks the particle deconstruction on him. Also, I will say right now, I have Empowering Rift on. I would recommend running a Healing Rift, but Empowering Rift can be knife for just uh, quickly melting down a champion or like the wizards or whatever. Launch that thrall. So he's gonna get a finisher there and that's gonna generate heavy ammo. So we can keep pumping out the heavy. Now 
right there I would normally die, but protective light is OP. Or wait for a shield. Let him hit him with the RB and then easy kill. And then since I have it right here, it's gonna pop well. There's a lot of ads here, so may as well pop it. Should I kill the ads? Some wither whore going. Help kill wizard. On the overload, so he's not being annoying. Going on the overload champ here, so I'm just gonna keep him stunned with the bow while my teammates clean him up with heavy weapon. Now, the best strat here is uh, we're gonna start this up, and then we usually like to hang out right here. This is definitely the best way just to clear the ads. Once they start creeping up on me, I'm just gonna shoot some Wither Horde there. And then since I'm on well, I'm just gonna keep pumping out my empowering rip. And then if I see like a nade come up here, my teammate gets weak and throw the Healy grenade on him. And those will both keep giving me Benevolent Dawn, so I can keep cycling through my abilities, like I have another Empowering Rift. So I'm the champ, most of the adds are gone, so we can feel free to go on this kind, melt them down, keep them stunned with the bow. And now I see a bunch of adds grouping up there, so I'm going to shoot a Wither Horde down there. And you can also see the stasis turrets there, those are just going to help freeze everything and just minimize the ads that are shooting us. Now my teammate's pushing up, so I'll throw a Healy grenade to help him out. Hopefully I can hit this bow. Shot. Emperor for the next wave. Make sure to target these vandals, because these vandals um, most likely will one hit to you. And the shock grenade, very dangerous. You get in a tight situation, he sees it's his stasis turret there, so ads that are going to push us are going to get frozen. And then also the stasis super is very good for survivability since you can just freeze all the ads. So. so as you see it got a little dicey there but we have recovered. My teammates one shot. So I'm gonna throw a healing aid for him. Some wither board on the ads there. And then I just got destroyed by the knight. Yeah. Definitely better for this part to kind of hang out behind the barrel, but... Uh, you know, we chillin'. All my teammates with the heavy there. One of my teammates is low on heavy ammo, and they wanted a finisher on him, but I was being a bad teammate. So, that was my bad. Make sure you are communicating with your teammates when you do and do not need heavy ammo. So, I know when to go for the finishers, but definitely 
not worth risking your life for a finisher. Uh, since most of the ads are dead, we should comfortably be able to get a finisher on this guy. I'm gonna try to stun the other one. So. on my teammate here. Keep that guy stunned. Now we're just gonna keep hitting him with the bows until he's weak enough for our teammate to get the finisher. Hopefully he does. I'm gonna get destroyed. Now normally here I'd recommend just get the finisher. It's gonna use a stasis ability to keep him stunned. And then they got off the finisher. Definitely though, play the finisher safe. Not worth risking a run over. Here's gonna be a couple adds. So. And then one overload champ in the back. Okay, this part, make sure you don't overextend past this little corner, because there are a ton of adds out here. They're a little late to respawn, but uh, these guys will melt you. Also, a little helpful tip if you did not know with well. Um, it does give you, I guess, quote-unquote anti-barrier. So stuff that is in the servitor's um, like immune shield, you will be able to shoot with well. And then in this part, make sure you clear these backheads here so they're not shooting you in the ass. <laughs> and then definitely focus the vandals because they do a ton of damage and can easily one hit you. So, I'm gonna play the cover here and then we're gonna just start picking away at these vandals that are all the way in the back of the map before we start shooting at like the brig walker. You can pretty clearly see when a Brig or Walker is about to shoot at you, but these Vandals will just linger back here, and then out of nowhere, you'll just get one hit. And then we usually deal with the tank here instead of the brig, so I'm just gonna pop my well since we're doing damage to a boss, may as well. And once he opens up, we'll go to town with the linear fusions. Hopefully I'm not getting flinched out the wall too. While we have the well up, may as well start working on other fails. Check that guy with Witherford. Teammate's gonna go into stasis and clear all those ads down there. I'm gonna kill this Vandal for him so he doesn't kill him out of his super. And then 
we're just gonna keep doing chip damage on this brig until he opens up the crit spot and we are able to smelt them. This is why I like running Wither Horde, because it's good for these enemies who don't have a crit. Right there, my teammate just died because of these vandals back here. Just a helpful. Ooh. See right there, protective light just saved me because those shots usually one hit. Uh. Since all the ads are dead down here, can move up a little bit. My teammate's going on the anti-barrier, so we'll kill him. Keep sending the overload. Work on these vandals as we can see them. My teammates call out they want to go on the left overload. He's in a easier position to kill. I'm gonna stun him. I think my teammates want a finisher on him. So he's gonna go for that. I'm gonna throw a healing aid on him so he doesn't die during it. Um, glitch happened, so finisher at him and nothing happened. So watch out for that. Don't really know why the glitch happens at this point. Here while the champ is stunned. I'm a little weak and there's a lot of ads here, so I'm gonna pop well. Get another stun, try to get that guy to finish her able. So my teammate can go finish him off. Finish these small ads and stun that champ. Now you can see my teammate here is dying quite a bit, but he is going for the finisher, so goes to show that they are risky to go for, but definitely worth it for the heavy ammo. But, like right now when you got all the ads clear, definitely an easy finisher there. I guess no one needs the finisher. Everyone's max on heavy, so we can just kill them. Okay, now going into the boss room. Door opens and there are, I believe, two overloads in this room. We're about to see. Kill that one, get the stun on that one, hit the Wither Horde. I'm gonna save my heavy ammo for the boss, and I don't really need to use it right here. So I just keep corner peeking this, which is perfect with my drawing of the bow. Take him out, all the small odds are out. Go for any ammo or orbs you need before the boss starts. And then we kind of just hang out right here. This is where you just hang out. And we got the adds coming in. Pick off the adds as they spawn. I'm gonna pop a well here to help my teammate out. Just kill the adds here. I'm gonna put Wither Horde because I know a lot of adds spawn back there. Now we can use this well to go after all the servitors. If not, you can just peek out when it's safe and the adds are low. Shield goes down. we will damage him. Well's about to drop, so we're gonna get back in the room. My teammate's actually gonna pop a stasis super here, which will allow us to stay out there longer, because he can freeze the ads. But I like coming to this angle, 
because he'll sometimes go to the very back like he just did right there and this is a nice angle to shoot him but watch for these ads dropping in the middle because they can focus you and get you very weak i'm gonna throw an emperor here to help us just clear the ads out here Where's my teammate once he's up some more wither horde at the corner A solar nade on that corner. Rip bounce. Um, again, I'm gonna pop a well here. Just to help with all ads. Also, keep us alive if the boss decides to do some fucking crap. champs so it's better for us to deal with this one right here i'm gonna help him pop an empress so we can melt him a little quicker i'm gonna break that guy's shield i'm gonna stun that champ just to keep him back so he doesn't push us while we're down a man i'm gonna kill that vandal because he is putting in some work i'm gonna pop a well out here so we're able to overextend farther also help us melt this champ and then we're gonna kill the last servitor here and then it's just melt the boss from here i'm gonna drop that wither ward there to help with all the shanks pushing up on us but yeah just a nice little melt from there easy gm run get your adept azume with Snapshot, probably, if you want it for PvP. And yeah. Well, that is the GM run, as we do it here. Um, also, a helpful little tip for the snipers. If you are running sniper resist, that definitely helps with the snipers. And then if you have an arc chest piece on... Which I do not, but if you were to put on an arc chest piece, you could also put on arc resist. So if you run arc resist and sniper resist there, you do give rid of a reserve slot. But you're going to be getting a lot of special ammo and heavy ammo from your Aeon users. So you don't really need the reserves. And that will definitely protect you against those vandals when they just one-shot you. But yeah, that's, that's the run. That's the stuff. Um, thank you for watching, subscribe, uh, catch me live at twitch.tv blackball14, and yeah, stay tuned for the next GM guide next week.